Captain Joe Casilla says his company is finally making a comeback after COVID robbed him of a year of business. Ever since May, it pretty much took off. And I'd say because of the pent up demand, we're really close to being back to normal. Captain Joe has owned Sea Star Sport Fishing in Oceanside for the last 40 years. And we do uh, sport fishing trips. We do sea life adventures, which is whales, dolphins, birds. We do floating science lab with science labs. We do that uh, with elementary and high school uh, students. And then we also do the burials at sea. But just as business is back up and running, he has a new worry about some proposed regulations to improve air quality. The California Air Resources Board says current commercial boat engines are old and put out polluting fumes. Karen Caesar is a spokesperson for CARB. California has the worst air quality in the nation, and we have these, these federal uh, standards that we have to meet, and, and it's, 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 it's often painful, but we have, to, we have to make these regulations if we want uh, clean air to breathe. CARB wants boat owners to upgrade to newer, less polluting engines. But the engines they're requiring don't exist in the U.S. for sport fishing vessels. There's no, no manufacturer in the United States makes them but yet they're gonna require us to put them in our boats. Well, if they're not there, how can you do that? The engines are made in Europe, but they're so big, they physically don't fit on the fishing boats. And some of these boats are not gonna be able to accommodate the equipment because there's equipment that you're gonna to have to add. CARB acknowledges the problem. David Kiros is a CARB manager and says if a boat can't be upgraded. It would need to be retired from service, potentially sold in an out-of-state market. And that's not even possible. We're, nobody's going to do that. We can't do that. That basically takes us out of business. CARB suggests replacing old boats with new ones that meet the requirements. To actually build a new boat to replace what I have, anywhere from 1.2 to 1.5 million dollars. And that's just one boat. So multiply that by how many boats, it's not going to happen. We can't do it. It's, it's not possible. If the regulations are adopted later this year, boat owners will have six years to make the change. CARB suggests that during that time, sport fishing businesses raise their prices in order to start saving money for a boat loan. Frank Rossetti is the owner of H&M Landing, the largest landing on the West Coast. The customer base for these boats, for this type of activity, are the folks who can't afford to buy their own boat. They can't afford everything that goes along with owning their own boat, such as a slip, registration of that craft, maintenance of that watercraft, etc. What we're doing now is we are beginning the gentrification of recreational fishing. He said these regulations would devastate this industry and all the businesses that support it. Right here, right outside my door right now, there's, there's over 2,000 jobs that would immediately go away. Those are the directly impacted crew members. And we're not talking about their families and what that means to them, but immediately those jobs would evaporate. Captain Joe and Ursetti hope CARB will consider an upgrade to the next cleanest engine that is easily available and physically feasible. Every one of these boats, every one of these boat owners would be lined up, standing by, ready to up tier to tier three so that we can continue working. Well, so we would hope that the conversation uh, would include some, include some kind of a compromise. Because everybody, all of us owners, operators, we're all for clean air, believe me. CARB will be holding two more public comment meetings in November before the regulations are adopted. Tanya Thorne, KPBS News.